Hello, hello world. My camera's kind of like at an angle. Sorry about that. Um, I have a very unhealthy relationship with money. Growing up, a common phrase that was said in my household was, we can't afford it. We don't have enough for that. And it was just something that was always rang true. So I tried to um, limit what I asked for unless it was um, a strong need. Um, we... If, if, I, if I went to bed hungry, it was out of choice because I didn't want to eat the food that was prepared. My mom always made liver and onions. And I hate liver and onions. So I would just go to bed hungry. But there were a lot of times where um, there was literally nothing in the fridge except for bologna and tuna. And um, I just wasn't a huge fan of it. So I would just choose to go to bed hungry. And um, when I had my, um, when I went to college, and I hate, oh God, just think about this, I want to slap myself. When I went to college and I uh, got my deposit from uh, my financial aid, and I was like, yo, I'm balling, yo. But that was like the thing. That was the thing. Everyone would w wait for that net check and they would go shopping. So that's what I did. Foolishly. I, um, I got a couple credit cards and I was just... Swipe, swipe me, swipe me, swipe me, swipe me. So I, um, by the end of college, I had nothing. And I remember calling my friend crying because I was like, how is it that I have no money already? I had so much. So um, fast forward to now, um, something that my ex would always say that I say a lot of is we can't afford it. And it was frustrating to him because he was like, you're so good at saving money. You are so good at budgeting. And I don't think this is something I pat myself on the back enough about. Um, I'm a hardcore budgeter. <laughs> something that uh, the people that I socialize with, they'll be, they would also say, you're a hardcore partier. <laughs> I'm the person that if we're at a bar, um, I'll be like... Round of shots on it for everyone on me. <laughs> but um, but what people don't know is that like I, I prepare for that because I know that about myself. I need to stop that about myself. I need to stop being that person that's like, um, oh, just just let's just come and hang out. I'll pay for it. Don't worry about it. Because I just want to be that kind of I don't I want to be that person that's like, don't worry about it. You need third you need ten dollars for gas? Here, you don't owe me anything. Don't worry about it. So, um, which I need to stop because I can't afford to do that anymore, especially now that I don't have a car and I'm Ubering and busting everywhere. But um, something that I'm very anal about is if I don't have a certain amount of money in my bank account, I panic and I'm like, I'm broke. So I need to work on this dialogue. And it's something that um, Eric Thomas said. He said that... Um, I'm not broke. I'm in a financial transition. And it's just saying that just now, this makes me feel a little bit more calm. Like right now, I need to go to the to the Walmart. <laughs> I need to go to Walmart and I need to um, buy some new non-slip shoes for work. And I need to buy um, some earplugs so I can sleep better. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, I can't afford that. I can't afford that. I can't afford non-slips. I guess I'm not eating today. Calm down. Calm down. You're in a financial transition. Everything is fine. And especially if you're you're like me, if you're working in the restaurant industry for the tips. I um have a goal every night that I need to make a minimum of in order to feel okay. And if I haven't made that minimum, you better believe I'm going to stay an extra 30 minutes later. And I think that's what um, drives my work ethic. And I think that's why I'm never really in a rush to leave work. Because I know that I need this money. And it'll help me write better when I get home. It'll help me focus on my goals. So um, for those of you that are like me,
who are in a huge financial bind, who uh, who try to literally save every penny that they have. Stop saying that you're broke. It's just a negative. It's just negative word that you don't need in your life. Stop saying broke. Um, I still haven't seen Black Panther yet, and my excuse is because I'm broke. It's not a prior priority for me. I could use that twelve dollars for the movie for something else for another huge emergency. So, if someone asks you to go out and you know that you don't have the funds in your account to say no politely, it's not a priority for me because I'm at. I am in a financial transition. I love that. Ooh, okay, I need to go to Wally World. God, I it's so hot out, so I'm gonna sweat all my I'm gonna sweat my face off. Um smile. <laughs> You're awesome. You know that, right? And if you don't, then you should. <laughs>